Hey guys, this is Anthony, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do Twixter on Sony Vegas and Premiere Pro. Let's jump straight into it. Make a new project. Just I'm going to name mine Twixter. Today I spell it Twixter tutorial. Okay. Now I just want to pick your sequence settings. I have a DSLR, so I'm just going to put it on my settings that I have my camera on. Or if you don't have a 60 FPS camera, then Twixter really doesn't work that well, but it still will work, just yeah, not very well. So try and film in 60 FPS if you can, and at a high shutter speed. Make sure you're on at least 1000 shutter speed. If you have a manual camera, at least 1000th of a shutter speed. But try and make it as high as possible. I'm just going to name this Twixter. Okay. And just jump straight into it once this loads. Alrighty. So, what you want to do is you just get your clip. Mine's here. Yep. Drag her in like that. I should load up. So, my computer's a bit laggy at the moment. So, I'm just going to close iTunes. It's less lag. Alright, so you got your clip in here. It's got a little lock over the hip. Alright, so what you want to do, make it a little bit bigger by pressing these buttons right here. And what you want to do is you press Control C to copy. And go hit this button here. And you want to actually click New Sequence. The same settings as before, don't worry about the name. Press OK. Now what you want to do is copy the clip, I don't know, five, six, seven times ish. Doesn't really matter as long as it's long enough. Delete that one and drag that sequence into there like that. So now you got all of this, but that's not done yet. You're probably thinking, what the heck, because it doesn't do anything, but what it does is just keeps keeps repeating the clip. So there's more time. Oh, by the way, if you don't want it to lag, click this button, go playback resolution, and drag it down so it doesn't lag. That's what I do. And then I just have my pause resolution to full. Alright, so click on this, and then what you want to do, go down to video effects, revision plugins, and then go to Twixter. I'm not going to go through how to get Twixter though, because, I don't know, it's kind of tricky, but... I'm sure you can just do a quick Google and you'll be able to get it easy. Easy peasy Japanesey. Right, what you want to do is you go Twixter, Output Controls, and then click the stopwatch for speed. And then drag wherever you want to Twixter. I'm going to go about, you can go frame by frame just using the arrow keys. I'm going about there, or about there. Click the stopwatch. Go forward a couple and put it down to half speed. Then what you want to do is you go forward a bit more till he's just about clicked, which is about there. Then set a keyframe using this button here, the keyframe button. Go forward a couple till he's fully, fully, fully clicked. Bring your speed down to like one, two, or three. I generally use about two. And then just scrub through. Just looking pretty nice, like that, and just however long you want it. I usually have mine about there, be a pretty decent twixter. Another keyframe, go forward a few, like that, and then put it back to half speed. While we're going to half speed, that means it's going to ease out of it, not just snap out, like, I don't know, I'm not going to demonstrate because I can't be bothered, but yeah. Seen my other videos how it snaps out. This is nice and smooth like that. And yeah, after it hits about there, after he's unclicked it, go on and go a bit further, and then click the keyframe button, and then just set it to a hundred, like so. And then you can play that back. Just press play, spacebar, whatever. Should be looking pretty nice like that. Nah, nah, sexy, right? Then just press C to get the cut thing. Cut it, press V, click, delete. 
and then what you want to do for the audio, see how the audio starts up like that. You can't really do much for the audio, but what I usually just have a song anyway, so just cut the audio out or just click this button and then press delete. Um, I don't really know how to get rid of much warp, but I've heard that you can click smart blend or you can click motion weighted blend and it might fix the blur up a bit, but yeah, generally when you're using Twixter, try have a solid background, like it's not the best example because you got the trees, but yeah, if you have like a solid background like a white sky, a blue sky or something, it generally works the best, but still works pretty good without it and there's a couple things you can do to jazz it up like and put a film burn in or something I'll just search up film burns um, don't know what this is I'll just drag her in anyways drag the film burn on top it's not a very good film burn but anyway tree size that whatever you want yeah I know it's dodgy but yeah click on that Opacity, go change that to screen, and you have a nice looking film burn over that. Like that. It'll lag when I try to play it back, but you kind of get the picture. Like that. And then just enter your basic color correction. I have a couple presets here. I just drag writing on, which is brightness and contrast, and then this. Which is like color corrector and then your vignette. Little nice black ring. This is my color correction settings. I really just change that and yeah, brightness, contrast, and stuff. If you don't know how to do vignette, just search it up on YouTube. I'll show you how to find it. And yeah, that's Twixter for Premiere Pro. We'll just go jump into Vegas now and I'll show you how to do it. Alrighty, guys, we're back in Vegas. Right now, did you miss me? Ha! Huh? Nah, jokes, no one misses me. There's Des. Um, what you do is you crack the cursor. It's a bit simple, but I don't really know how to do it in Vegas that well. Some of my buddies wanted me just to show them how I used to do it, so I'm just going to show you my way on how to do it in Vegas. So, what you do is you get to the point where you want the Twixters to be, like the super slow motion, and just split it there, and then where you want it to end, so about there. Drag this one out a little bit, right click, then video event FX, click on Twixter, good old Twixter. Um, just change this one to about, no, I'm gonna go three for this clip, so you, just so you can see the difference. Exit out of that, drag this along, and it takes a lot of trial and error to get this right, just to see where. It ends. So what I usually do, I just get the arrow keys and see, drag that out again. Just see where she ends. Actually, you know what? What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go event FX. Click the stopwatch again. Good old stopwatch. Go near the end of the clip, so about there. And then put a keyframe with this button. Different keyframe button now. Go forward one, and then change the speed to 50, like that. Click the cross, and this should be looking a little bit better now. Still a tad dodgy, but you kind of get what I'm trying to do. Alright, that looks pretty slow to me. And the same thing on Vegas, you can just add a little film burn to her. To her. Film burn. I'll add a different one to this one. I'm going to go to this one if she, if she wants to work. Alrighty. Chuck that over like that. Now I don't have Vegas Pro, so I can't set the screen mode or the compositing mode to screen because I only have some shitty ass ones like that. So what I do, I just bring the opacity down a lot, like so, and I just fade the edges in like that. 
and she still looks pretty decent. Like this. And same in Vegas, it's probably best just to cut out the audio, you know? You know how it is. Just drag them down, or you can just delete them. If you press U on your keyboard, you can delete the audio. But yeah, and just fade the edges in. Give it that cinematic feel. And yeah, that's your Twixter done, pretty much. And then just add your color correction on there, and yeah, you're set to go. I'll show you what both of those look like, right? My now. dad likes to call that life. But I'd like to call that white girl problem. Better back in autumn. Every gift I try to get her, she already got him. Messing with the TA, wonder what she taught him. Work her way down, literally to the bottom. Where are all my best friends? I cannot ignore them.